explain about customer segment. So basically, what is customer segment? Customer segment is basically uh, we want to approach our product to a specific group of people or other organization. So there are two things we need to evaluate under customer segment, which are creating value and most important customer. So for creating value, we would like to focus our product on different type, different types of age level. So for most important customer, our product is basically can be consumed by a different type of age level. But for the kids, the elders need to monitor since our product is in jelly texture. Uh, hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nor Isati Atra binti Abdul Razak. Uh, for value proportion is uh, what distinguishes itself from its competitors. Uh, so Zello for Zello com Enterprise, uh, the core what value to de that deliver to the customer is high quality jelly for kids and yachts. For kids, uh, it is uh, six uh, years and above and uh, for which customer needs are you satisfying is sweet craving. A very good day, my name is Sashwini Yanisin and today I will be explaining about the channels that are found in the business model canvas. So what are channels? Channels are ways that the business conveys its offer to its various customer segments. So channels can stand out from various platforms such as online and offline platforms. In Gel O Company, we use these multiple platforms to reach out to our customers who vary in ages. So our first platform would be social media. Social media is a great channel because it is used by all age ranges, be it by youths or be it by the elderly. So the most famous social media that we use will be Instagram as well as Facebook. For our bigger partners such as companies and corporate, we use our official company website and also have several partner events to let our companies as well as our partners to know about our product. For smaller companies as well as direct consumption to the public, the channels that we use would be retailers and the most cost-efficient channel that we use in today's economy would be e-commerce. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Khadija. I'm going to explain what kind of relationship that our company want to establish with our customer. In customer relationship, there is three parts. The first one is customer purchase. So we decide to promote our product by using social media. Well, we know that social media has gained Apple space in marketing. And our marketing team will promote our product, which is Conjac Jelly, by using social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. This is a low-cost budget but has good return. The second part is customer retention. Our company decide uh, to establish a membership program that is based on points. Our customer will gain points based on their purchase. We will offer extra benefits such as discount and free gift for our shop members. The last part for customer relationship is sale expansion. Our shop will have automated services. This relationship makes a more sophisticated form of customer self-service with automated processes. We will use live live chat for customer service. Live chat can help our customer service agent to solve problems right as that appears. So there is no need for them for our customer to email us or to wait. We we can solve the problem right away. That is all from customer relationship. Next for the revenue streams each stream will have its pricing mechanisms and its life cycle. The purpose will be to check whether the stream will be profitable or not. We will focus to promote our product which is Conjac Jelly by making advertisement using media platform, such as website and also social media. Since our product will sell online, 
Our main target audience is younger people or youngster, since it has many health benefits and it is rise in demand for nutritional food, which contribute for the growth of market. Next, we will also take a way to generate the revenue stream by taking usage fee. So this kind of fee usually charged by the service providers to customers for the use of the service. For example, a package delivery service charge customer for the delivery of the parcel from one location to another. The shipping cost of the product will be paid by the customer since the product is sold online, so we will get some commission from there. Assalamualaikum, I am Peri Rosa and I will continue with the next part which is Key Resources. Key Resources describes the most important assets required to make a business model work. It can be divided into four categories such as physical, intellectual, human and financial resources. The physical resources on our business model canvas are manufacturing facilities which include machines and warehouses. Additionally, vehicles were also included. Branding and trademark are examples of intellectual resources on our business model canvas. Next is marketing and salesperson are considered as human resources. And lastly, for financial resources, there is research and development. So the next part is key activity. So what is key activity? Key activity is basically the critical things that we must do uh, in order to develop or maintain our competitive advantage. So under, criti uh, under key activities, we have three evaluation that we need to consider. First, we have value proportion. So basically, value proportion is about we're introducing a soft sell marketing to our customer uh, in few different platforms, which are Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. So this kind of marketing is basically a cheap marketing uh, compared to hard selling marketing. So next, for distribution channel, we have four different types of channel, which are wholesaler, retailers, distributor, and internet. So internet is basically the straightforward, um, straightforward marketing between our company, our business, and customer. And lastly, for the customer relationship, we have we implement functional relationship and affiliate. Next is key partners. Key partners are the companies or people your business works with to create a strategic relationship. The motivations behind key partnerships are first, optimization and economies of skills, second is reduction of risks, and third is resource acquisition. On our business model canvas, we work with ingredient supplier, wholesaler and retailer, investors, and lastly, customers. So next, for the cost structure, it describes the most important cost incurred while operating under a particular business model. There are multiple kinds of costs such as direct or indirect costs. A direct cost is what actually takes to make specific product and indirect cost could be something like rent or electricity to keep the lights on in your office. These things that you can necessarily put into a specific product. So cost structure is actually anything that costing in your business to create product such as cost shipping, labor costs, and also manufacturing costs. For example, we are using contract jelly as our product business. 